All right, I'm here with my uh, good buddy and cousin, Neil Barker. He's the owner of uh, Cold Springs Trout Farm. And a while back, we did a video about how to clean and, and how to fillet and uh, skin trout. And Neil's going to show us, he's going to go into a little bit more detail for the beginners on how to, to properly fillet a trout. And he's going to expand on what we did in the last video. So enjoy this. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show, share a few uh, details on how to make a good fillet. A few things that we've learned over the years of flaying fish here. We like to start out with a small Rapala knife. Um, and we found that it's best for the beginner to start where the ribs connect to the spine. Just start just barely inside and, and cut up slowly just about a half an inch of, at a time. If you can see the knife there, you're doing a good job. Uh, work yourself up and then you're going to come back in right again where the ribs and the spine connect using only a half inch of the knife blade and work your way up. Just very carefully, make sure you can see the knife there and work yourself up to the end. So we'll continue on down here. As you get more comfortable, you can use a little bit more of the knife. But at first, start out with small cuts. Okay, now I roll the fish towards me and I'm basically doing the same thing. Start where the ribs and spine connect. Just a very small amount of that knife is used. Another thing you'll notice is I hold the knife very low. Rather than hold it up here, the handle is held low, the same angle as the spine. That, that helps me get the right angle to the ribs and spine. And I work my way down, just barely past the fin there. Once I've completed both sides, I flip the fish over. At this point, I make small cuts just slowly working my way along there. I come back, I do the same thing again. Now also notice, on this cut, the knife is up higher. But as I come down, I rotate the handle to where it is more parallel with the flay board. And sometimes I'll even push on that blade to give it a little bit of a bend. I come down. I come back across this way, basically doing the same thing. I make small cuts down the distance. I come back again. The knife handle is up high. As I finish out, it is lower. Okay, and that pulls all out. You've got nothing but bones and a nice fillet there. Grab onto the pectoral fin there. Remove the head. We have these side pelvic fins. We take those out. Okay, we'd like to expand a little bit more. If you've eaten trout, you'll realize that trout have pin bones. And you can see a small row of pin bones right there. They're light colored. And they stop about halfway or two thirds down. So the, the way to take those out is you find out where they are, feel them, make a very small cut, make sure that you're on the right side of them. Okay, and I cut all the way down to the skin. Your second cut now is going to go about an eighth of an inch on the other side of those pin bones. Continue to work down. One thing about the pin bones is they, they're at a slight angle towards the back. So rather than straight down, they're more on an angle like this. So all of my cuts will have a slight angle to them. And as I come along here, I've made it all the way to the skin. Now I can just run my thumb through there. There's the pin bone out. There is another method if you catch a small trout say it's 11 inch or smaller, you could cut those pin bone in half because really they're only about a half inch long and most of that, or a good part of it, is actually cartilage. So if you take your knife 
at this angle and come across, what you're doing is cutting those pin bone in half. And so when you go to eat this fish, you will not even notice that there's a pin bone there. And definitely will not notice that there's a pin bone here. Uh, we've taken the two side pins on the, off. There's a dorsal fin right here. We'll take that dorsal fin out. And there you go. A boneless filet. That was well easy. Done. Thanks. <laughs> yeah.